You're watching the News Channel 15 Highlight Zone with Joe Whalen. Sports coverage you can count on with the Highlight Zone starts now. Leading up to his team's NAIA playoff matchup with the nation's number one offense, Faulkner University, St. Francis head coach Kevin Donnelly preached his secondary had to keep the Eagles' explosive receivers in front to avoid falling behind. Turns out when it mattered most, it didn't matter. The defensive line took care of it. Cougars trying to extend an 11 game home winning streak in opening round playoff games. They've never lost at home in the opening round of the playoffs. And here's this for a great start. Faulkner punting from deep in its own zone, and the Cougars special teams comes up big with a block. It's recovered inside the five, and moments later, they give the former chair of Busco stand up Jason Nicodemus, and he rumbles in. Seven zip. After the Eagles tie it, USF comes right back. David Yoder, a little pitch and catch with Akeem Kelsall, 30 yards, 14 to 7 at that point. It was 20 to 7 at the half, and that's when Faulkner begins to rally in the third. Yoder under pressure rolls out of the pocket, but check out this athletic play by Marte Sears. Brings this one all the way back inside Cougar territory, but the drive would stall. And then from there, the snow came on strong. So did the Faulkner offense. Josh Hollingsworth up top to Trump Harrison for the score. How either one saw the football is beyond me, but that score pulls the Eagles within 20 to 13. Last chance now, same score. It's fourth and goal, less than two minutes to play, but Hollingsworth gets pulled down by Jake Allen. USF would run out the clock from there as they escape with the 20 to 13 win and move on to the national quarterfinals. I think our D line really stepped it up. Um, I'm not too sure about the opponents that they played before, but I'm sure they haven't seen a D-line as good as ours. They were, they were talking about the cold. They're like, you guys practicing this? We're like, yeah, welcome to Indiana. But I think, once again, just give a lot of credit to the defensive line. Our red zone defense it hasn't been that good before, and we started to focus more on doing better on red zone defense. We put back our goal line in practice, and it came down to the defense really didn't want to stop playing. This group of guys loves each other, and we really just wanted to keep playing next week. I have great confidence in our players, and they did do what we coached them to do. And they certainly did that today. I mean, that was a, a boot there on fourth down and the discipline, you know, of the edge players and making that stop was pretty special. The Cougars learned their second-round opponents tomorrow.